Good afternoon, good evening. I'm meteorologist Tony Petraka in the Pinpoint Forecast Center with your weather web update as Doppler radar still tracking widespread heavy rain. In fact, a aerial flood watch in effect for the anticipation of one, two, two and a half inches of rain. So localized, uh, at least minor street flooding likely through the evening commute. And we'll certainly keep an eye on the rivers and streams. The flood watch in effect right on through the uh, overnight hours. Also high wind advisory, strong southerly gales, 20, 30 miles per hour, gusting up to 40, even to 50 miles per hour. So at least some isolated power outages. Now the evening high tide along the south shore with the wind coming in from the south uh, at uh, 30, 40, 50 miles per hour. There may be some very, very minor coastal flooding or some splash over uh, during the evening hours. Time lapse down at the campus at URI. Well, pretty much tells the story uh, with the soaking rains that, that continue. Take a look at down at Newport Harbor. Boy, talk about a rough day on the water. These strong winds, 40, 50 miles an hour, reduced visibility, the rain uh, blowing sideways. And further to the north here in Providence, <laughs> the wind turbines spinning around quite a bit in the wind with the uh, low visibility and the heavy rain, all associated with a very strong cold front. Now, out ahead of the front, this little sliver of mild air on top of us, temperatures in the 60s. But look at the shading of blue back through the Great Lakes and even through upstate New York. And you can see this huge temperature contrast. That is a strong cold front. So the mild air this evening and then later tonight, this winter chill of all things starts to roll in overnight through early tomorrow morning and all of Wednesday. So here's the front now until it comes through. We'll continue with the windy conditions and the heavy rain. Take a look at future casts and the temperatures and how they drop off during the overnight. You can see the cold front right in here. The kind of the difference in color between cold to the north and mild air to the south and east. This is around 830 in the evening. The front coming through with heavy rain and then look at the huge temperature drop overnight by tomorrow morning 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning it is below freezing and feeling like winter sunshine will get to work temperatures will recover to the lower 40s but these numbers are still well below average for this time of year so kind of a big chill on tap over the uh, next couple of days seven day outlook shows the dry but colder weather on wednesday even thursday's chilly 29 in the morning 50 in the afternoon a little better on friday a couple of showers saturday 55 and still somewhat cool on sunday partly sunny skies for Easter Sunday, but at least it's dry mid and upper 50s.